This is from uh, <laughs> Cheap Toronto Fan. Which goalie equipment design is your all-time favorite? Mine was Trevor Kidd with the Leafs. Hashtag Ask31. I love Flurry's yellow pads. Flurry's yellow pads are great. Flurry's yellow pads, the ones I liked. And you know what? I, cheap Toronto fan, I hope that this starts to creep even more back into the NHL now. Yes, I agree. It's time. I have a, uh, a wonderful story, a funny story about Trevor Kidd's old pads. Okay. Uh, this is when Trevor Kidd had just finished up with Toronto and I was playing on a roller hockey team with Wade Bielak, the late Wade Bielak. Just so, such a wonderful guy. I'm sure he had plenty of interactions with Wade. Great guy. And so we needed a goalie one week and Wade's like, I'm playing net. And I'm like, Wade, you're really going in net? He's like, I'm going in net. I go, do you have pads? Nope. I'll get pads. Don't worry. So it's Saturday morning game. It's a tournament. I think it was a tournament. And so we're waiting. It's like 9 o'clock. No Wade, no Wade. Jeez, where's Wade? And he shows up just before we're about to go on. And he's got Trevor Kidd's gear. And I'm like, looking at it, I'm like, oh, my God, he's got Trevor Kidd's. I'm like, wait, is that Trevor Kidd's? He goes, oh, yeah. Had to get to their Canada Center this morning, break in, get into the get into the, uh, get into into the the room, and grab all the Trevor's gear. I'm like, oh well, what's God. he going to do? He's like, he doesn't need this. He's not coming back. <laughs> he's not coming back to Toronto. I'm using it for roller hockey. So everyone That's thought it was, awesome. and it's Wade Belak dressed up as Trevor Kidd. I wish I would have taken pictures because he was a great guy, but an awful roller hockey goalie. <laughs> wonderful guy. Though. I would not uh, hold that against him. That's for wonderful sure. dude. Uh, okay. Uh, from Mr. Pastry. We get the most interesting mm, tweeters. That's good for working out. Uh, what do you and Elliot think would be the big issues facing the next CBA uh, tax inequity, front loaded bonuses, et cetera. Thanks. Love the podcast. I actually do believe, I mean, the, the ones we know that are, you know, escrow Olympics, Yeah. but I think if there's going to be an, a fight about something that we haven't really considered yet, it's the definition of hockey related revenue. Do you think you'll ever get to the point where franchise sale becomes part of that? No, ever. No, no. I think that's like there's some like ground zero drop dead arguments, guaranteed contracts. Uh, if I was a player, I would fight that forever. I would ruin your franchise, mm-hmm. your league, if you try to take that away from me. And I would say the same thing for uh, an owner. Like yeah. I would say, you're a player compensation. I'll pay you whatever you earn, but this is my money in the team, and I'm getting that. So if you're the owner, then you say, okay, you want some of that? Then uh, next time there's a cash call, you're up for it as well. Absolutely. Uh, from Samuel Fleming, how is the Cal- oh here you go? How is the Calgary Arena situation entering this year? Seem pretty quiet on that front over the summer. I think that they that's by design. Uh, I think obviously the talks there have gone really badly. My guess is they're probably waiting to see what happens with the Olympic stuff before they make any further pronouncements. This might be one that you might want to spend a little more time thinking about, but here goes. Okay. Uh, from Will, is there an under the radar storyline that could affect the league on a larger level? Assuming it means this season. You know, um, you know, I'll I'll tell you something. I heard last week that there was some potential concussion announcement coming. Mm-hmm. And I was told specifically when I researched it, it's not a settlement. I think the league is still fighting that battle with the in the courts but i was told that there might be some talk about i don't know if fund is the right word mm-hmm. or discussion about how to help players in the future maybe getting people who really need it care and i was told it wasn't true and then i had another source saying i can't say yes or no and i think the issue is jeff mm-hmm. i don't have the language right but i was specifically told it's not a settlement but it sounds to me like there's a possibility the league is thinking about how do we handle this is there another way to handle this potentially and i heard it was being discussed among some of the players who were considering suing the league so I hmm. kind of wonder if they've appro- if there's been talks about like we know they're in mediation. Have there potentially been talks about without discussing the lawsuit? Here's another way to have help. I don't know what the answer is, mm-hmm. but that and I'm I think I'm around the story, but I don't have the story. Right. That might be my answer. 